guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Ida and this is Ida's Corner. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right underneath this video. Also, if you want to know more about me and my nursing journey, check out my other channel, Nurse Ita. I will leave the link above right here or in the description box. First off, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel. I appreciate your support. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and explain the executive order because you guys had so many questions on it. So let's get right to it. On April 22nd, 2020, President Trump signed an executive order to temporarily suspend the approval of some green cards. This executive order went into effect on April 23rd at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, 2020. Recently, on June 22nd, 2020, the executive order was extended and will be terminated on December 31st, 2020. However, it can be modified every 60 days. This executive order was designed to favor unemployed Americans due to the COVID-19 disease. So, they could be firstly considered as the economy bounced back up. Let's go ahead and talk about who is not affected and who is affected by this executive order. Who is not affected by the executive order? American citizen spouses and their unmarried children under 21 years of age student visas, temporary guest visas, health professionals, green card applicants who are already living in the U.S., H-2A visas, which is only cultural workers. If you already have a valid visa or green card, whether you're inside or outside of the US, or those who already applied for green cards or temporary visas from inside the US. Asylum or refugee seekers, children who are aging out, biometrics appointments, citizenship ceremonies and green card or I-130 interviews will not be affected by the executive order. Now let's go ahead and talk about who is affected by the executive order. H-1B visas which are high-skilled workers such as scientists and engineers, L visas, which are used by businesses to transfer foreign workers within a business, J visas for foreign cultural and work exchanges, for example, summer work travel programs, trainee and internship programs, H2B visa holder dependents such as spouses and their children, green card lottery applicants, parents of US citizens, 
family members and relatives of green card residents without U.S. citizenship will be affected by this executive order. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you my standpoint. This executive order does not explain how the National Visa Center will deal with the backloads of applications, children who are aging out, or cases that are about to expire. How will they deal with those applications? It will be nice if they had a plan for that. Primarily, this executive order affects everyone, including the families, immigration agencies, businesses, and the economy are all affected by this executive order. How? Families will have to look elsewhere for financial support because they depend on their sons and daughters who would have been working in the U.S. to support them. So they will have to look elsewhere for financial support. Loved ones will miss anniversaries, birthdays, and special events. It will put a strain on relationships. Immigration agencies will have to lay off workers due to the decline of immigration applications because they rely on your application fees to sustain them. Plus, they have to deal with the backloads of applications and it will cause employee confusion due to the ongoing changes. Businesses such as Google, Amazon, and Apple will have to push their investments and economic activities abroad. They will experience slow business growth and a reduction in job creation. I wish this administration would understand that this country was built by immigrants. And immigration contributes to this country success. Don't let this executive order intimidate you or stop you for applying for your family members to join you in the US. Don't lose hope. Be patient. Be prayerful. And remember that this is only temporary. It will soon end. It would not last forever. If you have any questions on this executive order, please comment down below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Remember to subscribe. Check out my other channel, Nurse Eater. Share my video. Give it a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell. Thank you for watching Eater's Corner and I'll see you next time. Bye!